Hello everybody. In this video today, I'm going to take you through the lesson from Mr. Vale's Math 2 class. This lesson can be found on page 559. So please turn to that in your books and follow along with me. Like I said, I'm going to be going through the questions on here and writing in the answers on this video, so follow along. Okay, to begin, the directions ask us to draw a triangle, so we're going to have to make sure that we draw a triangle for both questions 1 and 2, that satisfies each set of conditions, then classify the triangle. Okay, question number 1. They're asking for a triangle with three acute angles and three congruent sides. So, I'm going to highlight a couple of important things. We have to first make sure that we draw a triangle that has three acute angles. And that's going to look like angles that are all less than 90 degrees. The next thing that we'll have to do is make sure that we have three congruent sides. Now, it's important to remember that that word congruent means that all of those sides will be equal. So congruent means equal. And we show that by drawing a little hash mark. Oop, that's not a very good one. I'll erase that. But by drawing a little hash mark in the middle of each line. And because each line is marked by one hash mark, that means that they're all congruent, that they're all equal. Okay. So if you turn your books to page 556, you'll see that there is um, a diagram that classifies triangles. Triangles can be classified based upon their angles and based upon their sides. So because this triangle has three acute angles, we're going to use that word acute Oops, as the first part of our answer. So we know that this is an acute triangle of some kind. And because this triangle has three congruent sides, we can look at the diagram and we can see that that means that this is an equal lateral triangle. So we will classify, classify this as an acute equilateral triangle. And your answer should look something similar to mine. Okay, moving on to question number two. A triangle with one right angle and no congruent sides. Once again, I'm going to ask you to refer back to the diagram on page 556. Try this one on your own. If you need to go ahead and pause the video, go ahead and do that. Okay, so I went ahead and answered number two as well. Um, so as we can see, we have one right angle in this triangle, and it's based upon that red box that you see in the lower left corner right there. That box means that it is a right angle. We also know that none of the sides are congruent because... This side, for example, that I'm going to highlight has only one hash mark. The bottom side has two. And that angled side, which we call the hypotenuse, has three hash marks. Because they each have different numbers of hash marks, we know that none of the sides are congruent. And that's called a scalene triangle. So when we combine those two, we call it a right scalene triangle. Okay, moving on to questions 3, 4, and 5. We need to classify the marked triangle by its angles and by its sides. Okay, so once again, we need to look at, let's take, take for example, the triangle in question number 3. We need to first start off by classifying the angles. We can see that all of the angles 
are roughly the same. So therefore, we will call it an acute triangle. We know that it's acute. And because each side has only one hash mark, that means that all sides are congruent. And if all sides are congruent, that means that it is an equilateral triangle. Oops. So I'm going to write e acute equilateral. Okay, moving on to the triangle in question number four. It's not as easy to see in this video because it's just a little bit blurry, but we can look, and this triangle will also be an acute equilateral triangle because all of the angles are less than 90 degrees and all of the sides are congruent. And we see that all sides are congruent because they each have one hash mark. So I'm, I'm kind of running out of room and I'm not going to write that answer, but it is the same answer as number three, an acute equilateral triangle. Moving on to question number five. We see that one of the angles is obtuse. It is greater than 90 degrees. However, the other two angles are acute. They are less than 90 degrees. So looking at the chart on page 556, a triangle that has one obtuse angle is called an obtuse triangle. So that's going to be part of our classification, part of our answer. Second, looking at its sides, I'm going to erase the, oops, erase the highlighting that I did. Looking at its sides, we see that these two sides are congruent to each other because they each have one hash mark. So a triangle that has two congruent sides, and notice that the, the bottom of the triangle does not have one of those hash marks. So we know that that side length is not congruent to the other two. A triangle that has two congruent side lengths is called an isosceles triangle. So this triangle is what we would call an obtuse isosceles. Oops, I'm actually going to write that beneath here because I'm running out of room. Okay. Moving on from there. The next set of directions asks us to find the value of x. So if we look at this triangle, we see, and I'm looking at question number six, we see that one of our angles is a right angle, so we know that that is 90 degrees. The other angle that they give us is 30 degrees. So I'm going to combine those two angles, and together they equal 120 degrees. Now, it's important to remember that all triangles have a total of 180 degrees when we find the sum of their internal angles. So if we know that we're just missing this one angle, we can take 180 degrees and subtract it by the other two. And we find out that x has to equal 60 degrees. OK. For this next one, I want you to pause the video and try number 7 on your own. Remember that x plus 33 degrees plus 29 degrees has to equal 180 degrees.
Okay, so the answer for number 7, I hope all of you found x to equal 118 degrees. I'm going to put my degrees sign back on there. We have to include our label as well. All right, the same thing with number 8. I'd like you to try that one on your own as well. Okay, looking at our answer for number 8, we should see that x equals 27 degrees. And I'm going to highlight the other two answers. I know I did a lot of writing on this page, and um, sometimes those uh, the work can kind of run into the answers, and it's not always too easy to follow. But nevertheless, I hope you found this video helpful. And like I've been saying, please continue to use the answers. Um, Make sure that you take pictures of your work, and you can email those pictures to either me or to Mr. Vale. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.